So now we're going to get into double lifts. Let's begin. And I've went over it before in a different take. In the snap change video, uh, I've went over this already. Now, uh, it looks something like this. That is two cards is one right there. Do it again for you. Now it's two cards, okay? What I did there, I've explained it before, I'm not going to go over this one for too long. With your thumb, your right thumb, holding the deck in mechanics grip, you're going to peel off one, two cards, and then put them together. Push it forward and flip like that. And then you've got two cards as one. Okay, you can do a lot of things with this. You can even hold it between your middle finger and your thumb. With your index finger, you rotate the card, make it look like one. Any convincer to convince the audience that this is gonna this is only one card is a good thing. Okay? Um, another thing to do is snap it. Okay? You want to hold it with a certain amount of firmness here, and you want to snap it just like that. Okay? Um, so that's one version right there. Okay? From the back, you peel off two cards, and you just simply push it forward with your left thumb. You flip it over like that. Hold it like this. And you want to prove that it's one card. You do some fancy flips like that. You can get your thumb to help you out with that one. You know, just be like, all right, folks, this is where we're going to do this. You know, use whatever jargon or whatever um, thing, uh, whatever pattern you want to use. Keep everything very smooth. Um, push it forward, little thing, right? Well, that's three cards there. See, that's, in, that's another, it's a multiple lift. You can get three to four cards. You can even get five or six cards. I think I've got the seven cards in here, something like that, and it ma I made it look like just like one. Okay, it's a real easy thing. It is, as long as the edges are square, then you are completely safe. Here I have a fan of cards, but uh, it only looked like one for a split second there, okay? So that's one version. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a great version uh, to get into your double lift position, okay? And that's your double lift position. You have two cards that look like one, okay? Work on that. Work on the firmness that you need to hold. Okay, especially when you're going to give it a quick snap or a flick like that. Anything that'll keep it from spreading like that. If it spreads even in the least, it's somewhat noticeable. Like even that little bit is still somewhat noticeable. And you don't want it. You want people from two feet away to have the same effect as people from uh, 15 feet away. Okay, you you really you want to do this smooth. You want to do it slow. You want to do it nice. That's three cards there but still looks like one. Okay, um, So that's that. I'm going to move on now. The next one is called the strike. And what you're going to do is you're basically going to strike the side of the deck with your index finger and you're going to flip over two cards. And with your thumb here you're just going to when you finish flipping it over I'll strike two cards again. I'll flip it over and with your thumb here you're just going to let it rest on top of your thumb. Okay, it's a real good uh, relaxed way to get into a double lift and then from there you can pick it up. You can do your thing, do whatever you want really. I have three cards here. This is three cards. Okay, just to, just to show you how powerful this is, like you can get as many cards as you want. On the side you just strike it, flip it over like that. I got three cards again and it looks like one. Okay. So from that, you're just going to, with this hand, with your left hand, you're just going to simply bevel the cards a bit with your thumb. So it looks a little bit like that. So you can, you can literally count really quick. One, two is what I'm going to pick up. Same as the count from back here. One, two, and then put them together. You're going to do the same thing but on the side, and you're just going to strike the deck and pick up two cards. So you go one, two, and then together as you pick them up. Okay, so it's a very simple move. You just flip it over, and with your thumb, you let it rest on top of your thumb, and then you pick them up, do your thing, talk, you know, whatever you need to do, and then put it back in the deck as one card, 
and then continue on with your routine. Again, you're just going to strike like that, two cards together, and then reveal them. Okay? It's, it's not my favorite double lift to do. I'm not going to continue going on with this one further, but that is it. One, two, together, flip them over. It's called the strike double lift, I believe. I'm really not sure the name of that one. But this one that I'm about to get into now is the ultimate double lift. If you master this one, it's called the push-off double lift. If you master this one, you have mastered the double lift scenario. So what we're going to do here, I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like that. It's a brilliant way. You even It even involves, that was a triple lift. That was a triple lift. Like That looks so good, believe me. And I'll do a double. And now I'll do a single. You're going to do the same action every time. Okay. The, the, the thing about magic, especially when it comes to double lift, is consistency. If you do a whole routine full of double lifts look like that, and then you switch it over to double lifts look like this, people are going to think that, oh, you're doing different moves to flip over the cards. You know, what's going on there? If you consistently do one move as your double lift, then you are good. I can do this 50 times over, and I will pick up the same card. And that's the second card down. You know what I mean? Or the third card down. Either one. What you're going to do here is it's going to be in your left hand and your thumb is going to be the one that, to pull off the two cards. Okay? You want the corner of the deck, which is the, the one, the corner facing you that's on the left, you want that to be in the little V in your hand. So that be right in that little crook right there. Okay, and if it's in, once you see that little V, once you see the top card connecting with that V in your hand, you're in the right position, okay? And then with your thumb here, you're going to want to hit with a little bit of pressure. Oh, sorry, Mel, I have no time for you. No, it's enough, Mel. Okay, relax. You're going to hit with enough pressure to get two cards. Not just one, but two cards. So you can do it singly. Feel what it feels like. Look what it, you know, see what it looks like do everything very smoothly with one card and then move down a little bit more pressure and you can even visually see if you have two cards there you can literally see when you're doing the pull that you got two cards see you got one two you push them together really quick and then you flip it like that okay the reason why it's in the crook of the thumb right here is so when you do this little flippy move you can have it in that crook to kind of twist it and flick it off and when you're twisting it it, 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 it corners it. It makes it even. It makes it more even. That's why it's such a good tool, this, uh, this push-off double lift. Because when you're twisting around like that, th that twisting motion has centered the card very well to the card behind it. Okay? That's why this one is an ultimate, ultimate, ultimate double lift. Okay? And so, um, where were we now? So you're going to put enough pressure on there to get two cards. Okay? Even if you, you find yourself in a position where you've spread the cards, and these are all single spreads right here, you really quick just push, not the first card, but the second card, you push it together with the first card. And then you grab both cards and do the flick, like that. Okay? So again, push it off just like that, flick it in. All right? Very, very, very easy thing to do. It will take practice. This is not something that you're going to get in 15 minutes. This takes practice. I practiced this for over 20 hours before I performed it in front of anybody, including my roommate at the time. Like I was so, I wanted to really nail this double lift because it really looks like you're picking up one card and the more we get into this you'll see that double lifts are the ultimate tool in card magic right about now in the place to be too short baby getting real fun. talk to you soon monkey with the motherfucking dangerous crew bitch with that old school too short baby i'm so hard pimping these holes on the boulevard but i'm not